Hello everybody and welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today I'm giving you a little bit of a rundown swatches review, the usual, but today it's going to be all about the 100% pure fruit pigmented lip glazes. And listen to me when I say this. I think, ladies and gentlemen, we have one of my favorite lip products of all time. I said it. Holy grail status we are talking today. Love the shade range, love the formulation, love everything about it. But first and foremost, let's talk about the packaging. Packaging on this one comes in a cute little tube. They do have plastic on them. None of mine have plastic on them anymore since I've cracked them all open and put them on my face. But the tube's really cute as always. But the packaging on the actual bullet is fabulous. It's sort of plasticky but not as chintzy as the 100% pure packaging sometimes can be. Of course, we really only care about what's inside, but the packaging on this is just especially cute with the little floral design, 100% pure. And on the bottom, we do have the shade name. There is like a number printed on it, which maybe that is the batch number, which sometimes makes it a little bit difficult to see, but no big deal, still legible, still beautiful products. And these retail for $26, so they are a little bit on the pricier side, but like I said, one of my favorite lip products of all time. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We're gonna get into it a little bit more. And there are seven shades I'm gonna share with you guys today. All insanely wearable, nice diversity. The four middle shades I'm gonna talk about do all sort of look the same when swatched on the arm. Not identical, but very similar. But on the mouth, I think that they all look pretty drastically different, if I am honest with you, so keep that in mind. Now, all of these lipsticks do have an, a base of organic avocado and cocoa butter, which gives them this really creamy finish. Gives them a nice little gloss on there as well, but the pigment on these is so rich and the creaminess of them is not as creamy as the Aria lipsticks so these hang on a little bit longer than those do. These are by no means a long wear lipstick but since because since they are so pigmented and since uh, most of the tones are more in the medium to deep family the pigment hangs around for quite a long time especially if you blot it like I have done today. So that's a little bit about the formula. Creamy comfortable, never clings to any dry patches, which might be my favorite thing about it ever. Now let's get right into the colors because they are beautiful. Now number one out of seven is the shade Sultry. Sultry is this beautiful, warm, peachy nude, but it's nude without washing the face out. It's gorgeous. I did feature this in my nude lipstick comparison. I think quite a few people can get away with this. I think on a fair skin tone, we look more like a medium peach on you, but that would be a beautiful nude option as well. But if you have tan skin, that'll be a really nice light peach with a little bit of warmth to it. You guys know cool tones tend to make us look like, have that dead look or like that 1960s mod look that not all of us can pull off, but that is a good one and done throw on nude shade. Moving along to the shade Coquette. I am in love with this shade. It is just a warm, rosy sort of pink. Not too deep, not too light. Again, you can probably wear this as a nude option if you so desired. Coquette is, I think, one of the more universally flattering shades. Good everyday shade. My lips, but better, if you will. Really, really beautiful, and again, has quite a bit of warmth to it. Then we have the shade Lychee. Lychee is again a similar tone, a little bit darker and a little bit more peach to it. So this is probably my favorite of the bunch. Warm mid-tone peach, has a little bit of pink in there, almost a coral, but not anything neon, not anything too pink, not anything too warm, not anything too orange, anything like that. It is the perfect mid-tone shade and I think if you have a nice dark skin this wouldn't be quite a mid-tone I don't think it'd be quite a nude either but would be just the perfect my lips with better shade for um a dark complexion then we have the shade rose petal and rose petal is really pretty because it has a lot more pink to it a lot more punchy like the name suggests rose petal is incredibly rosy and far more pink like I said so it gives a little bit more of a pop to the face a little bit more of a youthful look this would be great for an everyday option as well not quite a my lips but better because it has so much pink to it but I think this is a great spring and summer option of course Seasons don't matter with makeup, but that one really makes me think of that time of year. 
Then I have the shade Velveteen, and we're starting to get a little bit darker. Velveteen is sort of like a brownie rose. It has a lot more brown to it, maybe even a little bit of a mauvey purple to it as well. This is one that I will probably start wearing every single day in the fall and winter time. Just a little bit deeper, a little bit more vampy if you could even call it that, but still has that beautiful mid-tone, rosy sort of tone to it. Really, really gorgeous shade. Then we have the shade Fig, which this is my most worn one since because it's my one of my first green beauty products I ever bought, so I have bought a second tube of it, purchased a second tube of it. And this might be the most pigmented of the bunch. It is so rich and creamy. A little bit more pink than Velveteen, but still has that sort of rosy vibe to it. It's just gorgeous. This is the any single skin tone humanly possible from pale fair snow to deep dark ebony to lilac to deep blue i don't care what you look like this color is gonna look good on you it is just amazing you kind of gotta have that shade and it's a little bit deeper as well so if you're more of a nude lipstick everyday person maybe this would be a bold lip option for you even but for me it is an everyday shade and let's round it out with the lipstick i have on today i have it on more a little bit uh light-handed than i'm showing you in the swatch and this is the shade cherry and what a beautiful cherry shade it is has a little bit of fuchsia to it so i think it makes it a little bit more wearable it's not full on red and it's also not so full on or it's crazy and intimidating if you guys know what I mean when I'm wearing it right now I'm not like oh I don't have this neat perfect deep dark red lipstick though you could definitely take it there if you wanted to apply it with a lip brush to make it a little bit more crisp but you can definitely apply this in the mirror nice and easy without being too precise and you guys will have seen that in the swatch so that is it so that is all seven of the 100% pure fruit pigmented lip glazes one of my favorite lip products of all time they are absolutely amazing like I said these retail for $26 super super comfortable to wear and just all-around fabulous products oh and I forgot to mention they are also vegan and gluten-free in case that of any concern to you just a little added bonus but if you guys have any other questions you want to see the swatches on my arm that's gonna be linked down below as always along with the product links and ingredients so you guys could take a closer look but thank you guys so much for watching this video please do let me know what you would like to see swatched next and I will catch you in my next one bye